The sleek aerodynamic shape of a teardrop trailer is a perfect complement hooked up to a vintage car. And these cool campers offer a lot of practicality as well. For a weekend trip, it's easy to pack. You can be home on Friday after work and be gone in half an hour. Popular in the 1930s to 50s, the trailers are lightweight, sleep too in queen-size comfort, and somehow squeeze in a full stand-up kitchen. Stove pulls out, and the cooler pulls out. After a 30-year career as a trucker, Ingvar Svard was looking to keep busy in retirement. When he saw a teardrop trailer at a car show, the bug bit him. I decided I was going to try my own. So I built my very first one in 2002. Uh, I got lots and lots of interest in it, and I thought, geez, maybe this, this could be some to, to work towards. That first trailer led to many more, and now with his son Luke, they operate acute trailer manufacturing in his shop in Lavington. A lot of the times when my parents go traveling to teardrop meets or car shows and stuff like that, they have people following them for miles down the highway until they pull into a gas station just to see what it is and have a look inside and get a business card. Each adventure teardrop is handmade to exacting standards. So this is part of how we design our trailers. Um, we use uh, plywood templates. Uh, we bolt them together and cut out parts so they're size on size. Handcrafted Canadian-made products are something that we would definitely like to promote as well. Um, a lot of the materials and uh, components that we purchase for the trailers are from the valley. So I definitely like having the local uh, support. There are three models, the full size, the half. This thing's pretty small on the outside, but look at this. You can get in here, pull over the side of the road, and stretch out and a cargo trailer for motorcycles. The full-size wheels and lightweight under a thousand pounds make for easy and efficient travel. The wife's uh, red Volvo there is 90 horsepower and we've pulled probably 40,000 kilometers. We've pulled the trailer behind that. And we go over the Cope, Rogers Pass, and Hope Princeton. We've been down the States with it and uh, the car always brings us home with the trailer. Ingvar takes pride in the handcrafted trailers that they produce. I got rid of my stress right off the bat as soon as I started doing this. And there's lots of times where I'm in my shop. I'll be out there at 7 o'clock in the morning. If I have a really good day, I can be there at 10 o'clock at night. I maybe spend more time on a trailer than, than I should as, as far as dollar-wise, but I want to send the trailer out that, that's been built to the best of my ability. For more information, visit the website adventureteardrops.com or keep your eyes peeled for the vintage Volvo with his retro trailer. For Shaw TV in Lavington, I'm Doug Brown.